today we're making a prop. You're welcome. Today we'll be making Maui's hook from the movie Moana. The hook was used to haul up the Polynesian islands and Maui uses it to shapeshift. It's made out of bone and has a lot of engravings on it, but we're gonna be making it out of foam. It's pretty big, probably about six feet tall and very wide. We're gonna do it justice though. So we're gonna be making this prop out of pink insulation foam, which you can get at any hardware store. It's different from EVA foam in that it's not quite as dense, so it's much easier to carve. This is gonna be better for curved shapes and rounded surfaces. You wanna make sure that you arrange them in a brick wall sort of pattern. Like this, so that none of the seams line up and there aren't any weak points. So while the foam is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out and tape together our pattern. I've made it available and it'll be in a link in the description. I've blown it up 675% to make it six feet tall, but you can make it however big you want. You can even make a little replica if you wanted to. So now that our enormous pattern is ready, we can go ahead and transfer it to foam and then cut it out. The pink insulation foam is very easy to cut. You can definitely just use an X-Acto blade, but since I have a jigsaw, I'm gonna go ahead and use that just to save us a little bit of time. Power tools. So now that I've spent my entire life carving out the shape of this hook and the pieces are everywhere, we can go ahead and refine it by sanding them down with some sanding blocks. This is 60 grit and I'm also going to use 80 grit to make it a little bit smoother. You're going to see me use the sander a little bit just because we have one here and it'll save me some time, but definitely you can get the job done with little sanding blocks. Fine, you're dead to me anyway. <laughs> Now my hook is nice and sanded and I can go ahead and start finishing it. No matter how you decide to finish, the next step is to fill the cracks with spackle. Since I'm going to be covering my hook with Warbla, I don't have to be too careful with filling in some of these cracks. But if you're going to finish the foam with resin or with Plasti Dip, you want to be very careful to have a nice smooth finish. This looks delicious. Don't eat it. Maybe don't spackle on an empty stomach, because this looks like frosting. <laughs> Now our 
spackling is all dry and I can go ahead and cover it in warbler. If you're finishing the foam in resin or Plasti Dip, you want to go ahead and do the hook engravings first and then finish it. Since I'm using Warbla, I'm going to cover it first and then I'm going to solder the designs in afterwards. So now the last step is to smooth all of this black warbler. I've already smoothed most of the hook, I just have the handle left. And the way that I'm going to do this is with a heat gun, a soldering iron, and I have this very old clothes iron that I'm going to use to make everything nice and smooth. It is definitely going to ruin your iron, so only use an old one. You won't be able to iron any clothes after you use it on warbler. You're also going to want to use some tools to help smooth it out. I recommend using wooden tools like popsicle sticks or a wood spoon because it won't stick to the warbler quite as much. So now that our hook is all smooth, the next step is to draw out where all of the engravings will go. I have a very nice reference picture, and I'm just going to go ahead and freehand draw it in silver sharpie, and then I'll go back and solder in all of the engravings. Now that our hook is a nice ivory color, we can go ahead and bring out the carvings with dark brown paint. Now our hook is painted and pretty much almost complete, except for the rope flashing. I'm just going to use this thick twine and wrap it around the end. So now my handle is lashed, but the twine is pretty prickly and pokey, so I'm just going to smooth it out with a little bit of melted paraffin wax. That's it for Maui's hook. I'm ready to shape shift. I'm ready to beat Taka. If you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see us make next, let us know in the comments. Till next time, I'm Hendo. You're welcome.